People suffering from long COVID may find relief from researchers looking at a different disease, chronic fatigue syndrome. ABC 10 News reporter Jared Aaron is taking an in-depth look at the similarities between the two and how treatments for one could help the other. Through more than a year of reporting on long COVID, one symptom has come up in nearly every interview. I had um, extreme fatigue to the point where I buzzed in internally. And I still couldn't get up out of the bed. I couldn't go even just to the bathroom. I couldn't do anything. Fatigue, worse than exhaustion, and at times debilitating. Studies show around 38% of people with long COVID list it as a symptom. As more research comes out, a link between long COVID and a similar disease, chronic fatigue syndrome, seems evident. We knew what would happen from previous infectious outbreaks, and we were already very concerned. Jamie Seltzer is the director of ME Action, a network of advocates for people with myalgic encephalomyelitis, or chronic fatigue syndrome. CFS affects as many as two and a half million Americans. The main symptoms are post-exertional malaise, fatigue, and cognitive dysfunction. And a new study from the Mayo Clinic found around half of long COVID patients have the same issues. It feels more like going into shock. Uh, studies show your heartbeat slows, your blood pressure drops, the oxygenation to your brain decreases. And what you're experiencing is more of a full body rejection of having overdone it. An August report from the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences found similar biological issues in both diseases, including cellular dysfunction in creating or transferring energy, slow metabolism, and system-wide inflammation. Seltzer and her group want the diseases studied together and for the National Institutes of Health to prioritize funding for more research. We're going to have people who are disabled for the rest of their lives. Um, and the idea that this is a simple, fixable, easy condition that people just feel a little tired um, is absolutely naive. Right now, there are no FDA approved treatments for CFS or long COVID, just a series of over the counter medicines and physical therapies. Seltzer hopes a new combined approach can find solutions for millions of people. Jared Aarons. ABC 10 News.